Rat's callous lies had brought the Moonwood to the brink of ruin. And while his defeat added another Moonstone Shard to Kutaro's pile, a new adversary had already slithered within striking distance. General Snake's body coursed with venom, and the Moonstone's power had rendered a mere whiff of it the deadliest substance in the solar system. But the Moon Bear King found such reckless power repugnant. The unlucky snake was locked beneath the black castle and forced to produce a toxic brew. How the serpent cursed his fate as he waited patiently for his chance to be free. Unfortunately for Kutaro, that horrible moment had arrived. Go, snake! Obliterate the whole moonwood if you must! Just destroy Kutaro! Slithering scourges the Moonwood! Help us! Kutaro, you have to stop that snake! Wait! Hold the horses! I am a bystanding innocent! Ah! Help! Come back! Look out! This way! No! Snake! I'm crying out loud! I am on your side! It's me! After his narrow escape from the jaws of General Snake, Kutaro tumbled to a stop at the tip of the serpent's tail. Come on, Kutaro. Let's go rap on this reptile's head. Was it rapid and reckless industrialization? Lax forest management? Inadequate environmental laws? Perhaps we all need to take a long, hard look at... Um, hello! We already know Snake's toxin is responsible. What story are you telling? The pyramid is made of moon, the moon is made of cheese, there's cheese inside the rat, the rat's inside the snake, and some young ladies ought to stop nitpicking and stay on task. Kutaro dashed along the length of Snake's undulating body, skipping over spines, blowing off a scale or two, plowing past poison, cutting through clouds, and wasting a few waves of sand.
the spitting image of Earth's own architectural wonder. What secrets lay within? The tomb of an ancient moon pharaoh? Perhaps a malicious mummy just waiting to wake from its slumber? A horde of embalmed escorts poured out of the pyramid, ready to take Kutaro to the city of the dead. Because no one knows how to get chubby like a mummy. The thing to remember about mummies is that they are people who want to live forever. They seek longevity in the world to come. What, eh? You want to make your own? Oh, you. Very well. Step one, find a fresh corpse. Step two, wash said corpse and remove internal organs. Step three, leave out to dry in the desert sun. Step four, gently wrap moisture-free corpse in bandages. Step five, Pass mummy among friends and cover it with secret hieroglyphs for archaeologists to puzzle over in the millennia to come. Yikes! This one's still fresh! General Snake's toxin had already killed off a third of the Moonwood and would soon reach Mother and Father Cedar's haven at the heart of the forest. If the toxin reaches the Cedars, it's all over. We've got to whack the snake now before the whole Moonwood dies. Stupid snake's head! All of 
a sudden, the stupid snake's head came into sight. hatch with Kutaro and Picarina and into the endless contorted bowels of the foul fiend. Well, we're alive. But look at all this toxin. One wrong step and ick. Help! I cannot swim! Please! I know my chicken is up! I... I repent! Please save me! You had this coming. Look at what you did to those poor folks in the Moonwood. I know. I'm full of the remorsels. Just tell me what you want. I will do anything. Good. Kataro, jump on his back. The rodents are ticket out of here. Ow! Oh, get, get off! You're too... You're too heavy! Whatever Snake had launched upon earlier, it came floating along now in the form of broken bones and brains. Even these would soon be digested and absorbed. <laughs> I am melting! I am being digested! Silence! Oh. Please, I... Ow! I'm not liking the taste of my own medicine. It's in my eyes. Oh, what is this trickling up my nose? Oh, put a sock in it. Kutaro rode General Rat down the serpent's slimy channels, grateful for the first and last time that his conveyance was full of hot air. Thank you so much. I shall never forget. Oh! Holy cow! Did you see that? The ungrateful little... just croaked on us. You monster! Please, Master Kutaro, throw the wicked pixie in and save me instead! Show some compassion! Please, no! Shut it, you gerbil! Kataro's trying to concentrate. Here comes the exit! <laughs> Wait! You need me! You cannot spell strategy without breath! Don't go! <laughs> they had done it! From tail to testis, gut to gullet, Kutaro had floated his way up snake. They had just passed the creature's throat. Wouldn't be long now.
Now it turns out the Moon Witch had been watching Kutaro's adventures through a magic mirror within the White Castle. That's a boy! I picked a winner, all right. You see that, Yin Yang? We're one piece closer. But the Moon Bear King had a mirror of his own and was, shall we say, enjoying the show considerably less. First tiger, then rat, now snake! How many generals does it take to lick this brat? Ah! Curses. First I am made snackery of, then I am made doormat. This Roland is most unpleased. My lead, Moon Bear King. <laughs> Rat, where have you been? You betrayed me. Be 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 betrayed you? Perish the thoughts. I nearly had to trick Kutaro to gain the upper paw, and, and once I had him in my sights, a pow, right on the kisser. Really? That is very bold of you. Come closer and tell me more. Yes, sire. I think you will be most impressed. <laughs> Wait, sire. I, I cannot we put this all behind us? No. <laughs> Well, you can't lie your way out of everything. 